Welcome back to episode 4 of this recording, which is episode 8 so far of the Craft First series. Last episode, we started the process of actually building a raid farm and set up a portal. This episode, I need to actually build the nether side. So that's what we're going to go do. Off to see the nether. Hopefully not do a die. If it will load. That is, that is the point. It needs to load. Yeah, man. Okay, so the cords that I need are negative one thirty seven, positive two nineteen. I have a little stairway down, provided it will load. This is where I got my netherite. Oh, wait a minute. What just happened there? How did I end up back here? What? Eh. I am so confused. I don't know what just happened. Okay. Well, let me know in the comments. Has that ever happened to you? way leads down. That looks like it leads down. That looks like it leads to nothing. So we're gonna take this down. So hopefully 15. to go positive in the Z, so I need to make a U-turn. So, because it's probably going to become stairs at some point. I'm going to do this. Actually, goes more positive and I need it to go more negative. Not by much, it just needs to be negative 137. So we have to go this way. Oh. That's why you don't run with a pickaxe. Not in the nether. So you're either going to have an interesting Cheeto co colored bath or you're going to have a lava head. Okay, so this is 137, so we can just plop that there. And I have to gun it this way now. Honestly, if I find any netherite along the way, I will be ecstatic. Because it's not really what I'm down here for, but I'll take it. But I have to be thinking of the future, and the future demands proper nether. So the Z chord I'm going for is yet again 219.
So it's gonna be just a moment. Huh. the floor is not going to open up on me. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Got it. Uh, how about we not? Can, can we not? Not sounds good. down at 15 is not necessarily a guaranteed safe zone. So I'm expecting there to be this much lava interference. In the nether, that's like zero ish. About halfway to my destination, so that's something. Ooh, no. Nice little threesome down here. You can have a flower. Unexpected. I will accept that though. Without hesitation. Casually toss me a couple of flint after I needed to make a flint and steel last episode. I see how it is. Like, oh, you forgot your flint and steel? I got you. Three vein. Very nice surprise. Can make my sword purple now. Okay, so that is the two nineteen. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. 137 in the negative, 219 in the positive. So.
just ensure that all of this is dealt with. Plenty. Absolutely plenty. So, give me this. Make sure we're good. Should be facing the same direction. Please take me to the raid farm. Okay, we're at the raid farm. Why is it doing that every time I go through a portal? Okay. Oh, I should have left the dark oak saplings. Uh, oh well. Well, I don't need the dirt. Actually, don't need the fencing. Don't even need this fencing. At daytime, so we will be all clear. So let's do now. Now we're not doing that. It's gonna go back. I have a raid farm portal, and now I need to go back for what I needed to go back for in the first place. Progress is made, extensions and expansions are happening. We're going to be seeing a lot of this loading of screen apparently, because it doesn't want to load that quickly. Here's some jumpies. Come on, Minecraft. Okay, come out sideways. Got you. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. That's a weird glitch on a non-realm world. Nice little bit of x-ray. Nothing really happening. This isn't that long of a pathway. So here is my staircase. And to be honest, I probably should move my portal to its proper level 15 coordinate. So this is going to eventually cause some hiccups. But as long as it works for now, Make sure that it works. It should be daytime. It's been 10 minutes in the nether. Daytime. Okay. Which 
chuck all this netherrack in there. Cook up my ancient debris. paper made? No, but I have enough to make Oof, excuse me. Just chuck all of that. The leather's nice. That, oh, I already had some. I only just doubled my findings, so it's fine. I'm not going to be upset about it. Actually, I may need that for more leaves. Oh, redstone. So for what I need, I need that. I need those to make this. And then empty locator map. Because in order to accurately use the raid farm, I need to know which block is the appropriate one. So I'm actually going to consult my research which means I have to go check something real quick no, not that one that one Not that one. Where is it? Okay. Should be this one. We're at that point. Good, good. Southeast. That's what I needed to know. Thank you, JC. If anybody's wondering, I got this farm from JC Play. Southeast. That is the block that I need to make the spawn platform. Alright, and we're just gonna jaunt through the nether as almost faster as this is. Eventually I'm going to slab up this area underneath and Put a new portal down. Go ahead, do your little glitchy thing. I know you want to do it. I don't know why you want to do it, but I know you want to do it. Oh, you're not going to? Okay, cool. Interesting little... Oh, yep, there we go. 
I don't know why it does that. That doesn't make sense. Past it. Hey, as long as it gets me to my destination, I'm not going to complain too hard. Gold block is going to be where they spawn. And now to pick up a bunch more netherrack and clean up my mess. It wasn't that Southeast block. Once I get in there, I have to open up my locator map and find the southeast block. Of the four. If you remember, I left the four blocks underneath those pillagers. One of those blocks. Needs to be a gold block. That actually looks pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to follow the stairs. Or break our legs. This will all be fixed at some point. Okay, so that direction is southeast. So it's this block right here. Yep, that's the right block. Good to know. Okay. Thank you. 
48. It's a good start. So that's the southeast block, which means no. Means I'm looking at this from this side. Okay, don't have to worry about killing the pillagers. Those are done. Oh! Gotta stop doing that. Remember to crouch. Yep, break the whole rest of the outpost. Gotcha. Will do, sir. Will do. Uh, food. If anybody would like to check out the tutorial which I am following, go ahead and check out JC Plays on YouTube. It is the, quote, best simple 1.21 raid farm tutorial, end quote. As I am playing in Bedrock, I need Bedrock tutorials. So that is what we are using today. That would have been unnecessary damage. Uh. This is so slow, I might have to make my next... My next structure be an ancient city just so I can get swift sneak. Doesn't help that all my tools aren't fully buffed yet either. So maybe before my next session I go ahead and grind out some materials.
next outpost is no longer necessary. I'm not picking up the logs either. Now the pillagers will only spawn up there. Okay, chest dump time. Wait, is there still one? So I had a full stack of glass. Why is there only 63 now? This is how you do creative solutions. All right. Nope, can't place it on that. Let's just go ahead and keep the phantoms at bay. Alright, so the beginning stages of this are complete. And now, you will have to wait and see the finished product and go watch JC Play's video if you want to see it in the process.
Thank you for watching mine, and have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Seco out.